Emilia Marchenko. I'm Janis Kula. I'm Jesper Dion. I'm Henry Laksan. I am Francisco Serundolo. And you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are. It is Igor Sviontek up against Petra Martic. That's right, of uh, Croatia. It's going to be an interesting one, this one. Iga not been playing her best, but still getting through the rounds. And I'm expecting her to get through again here today. Let's get your predictions in the live chat right this second so we can see how you see this one going. <laughs> So, I'll give him my prediction. I am going for, yeah, you guessed it. I'm going to go for Eager in two. I think it's people giving Martic a chance. I think that Eager's going to win fairly comfortably here today. I think it's going to be like a, a two and a two, something like that. I'm not sure if we're going to get any baked goods, but I feel it will be comfortable. That is how I see this one going. Let me know your, uh, well, let me know your predictions in the live chat. Man or saying I'm gifting a member if Eager's losing. Cheers to you, one of our members. And nicely saying, stop spamming as well. Yeah, we don't like the spammers. If you're just joining anyway, make sure to hit a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel as well. We're trying to hit 52K. If we can get to that, would be amazing. I'm going to crack open a beer because it is Eager time. Hey to Max as well in there. You're probably wondering, have these two ever played each other before? And I believe they have played once before. I think it was Indian Worlds, if I'm not much mistaken. Yeah, an eager one in straight sets, 6-1, 6-3. And that's into the net from Martic there. Can't remember if we have a Martic button, to be honest. Can't remember hearing one. I can't remember making one, but... There's a lot of things I don't remember these days, so I wouldn't wouldn't put it past me if I have forgotten that I made a Martic button. But <laughs> we'll find out soon. I'll have a little rummage through the through the locker, and we'll find out. Man or Sandem, we're ready for Altmaier versus Chorich. Yeah, uh, I feel like I'm more ready for Karatsev versus Zhang. That one seems like a bit of a cracker. One that no one expected. Karatsev seems to be back uh, into the net there from Iga. And it is 40-30. Will Martic give her a run for her money today? Manor thinks not. Think a 7-5-6-4 prediction there. I think, I think there's going to be spells where Martic looks good, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And I don't think it's going to be enough to just simply take her deep in games. She needs to get a few games over the line. And then she can think about a set. Good serve from Eager. Back in play. The forehand is getting Martic running already. And it is Eager on the board. It is one love to Eager Sviontek. Let's get the buttons out early today. Eager. 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 Sviontek. When the Polish girl be rolling in, each victim be serving them, bread sticking up bagel in. I'm Ega, we know you. I'm a feature, I'm gonna beat ya. I'm Ega, I'm gonna see you. Now well, you can't handle my heat now. Ega, one love, how she likes it. Obviously, one match still to come. A uh, bit of a shock earlier on. We had a. Uh, Kudametova going through against Jess Pagula. That one was in three. A bit of a strange middle set there. Pagula bageling Kudametova in the middle of two, six, four sets for the Russian. Um, can't really explain that, really. Don't understand. It's just one of those bizarre ones. I know that there was a medical timeout early in the third set. Part of me thought that that was definitely for Kudametova, but I didn't get a chance to check. Now I'm thinking it might have been Pagula. Good backhand return from Eager. Cross-court backhand. Down the line, terrible from uh, 
Martic there goes very long. And it is love 15. We'll be seeing the early break that we often see in an eager match. Is eager going to start peaking towards the back end of this Madrid Masters Championship? And obviously, we've got somebody else down the other side. The other semi final is decided already. As we know, Sabalenka will be playing Maria Sakari, who's having a great tournament, has to be said. She's into another semi final. Is that where it ends yet again for Maria Sakari? Oh, okay, man, I'll just confirm it was Kudometova who did take the medical time out for a tape, a leg taping. So thanks for that. I thought it probably was. Maybe that delay was just long enough to get her back on track to uh, take out Pagula again. Serve there. Oh, into the bottom of the net from Martic. I mean, that's not good at all. She'll be very, very disappointed with that first serve. Second serve coming up. Love 30. Yeah, I don't think there is a Martic button. Maybe we won't need one. It is a double fault, and it is three break points for Eager here. Can she get this over the line at the first time of asking? Love 40. Break point for the pole. Good serve, but it's back into play. Forehand down the middle of the court. Backhand's really good from Eager. Got Martic on the run already. And the forehand puts her away. It's a break. It's a game to love. It's eager. Sviontek. <laughs> Boom. The break early on. Okay. Can Eager consolidate that break? If you're just joining us, make sure you've hit a like on the video. Subscribe to GTL if you are new to the channel. Become a member if you want special live chat emojis like Manor is showing here with some uh, GTL Bamoses there. It's the old Alcalaz one. 15 love and Eager not wasting any time in this match so far. It's crazy that Martic can play so well leading up to a quarterfinal. But if Iga plays her best tennis, you just know there's only one person making it to face Kudometova. Good return there from Martic, but Iga on the back pedaling managed to still hook it into the other corner and make Martic do a bit of run in there. 30 love. We have the umpire with the deepest voice in the game he's kindly cool in this match and it is eager serving 30 love serves down the tee good return from martich deep but not much pace on the ball eager creating the pace cross court now down the line but long need this after today i'm telling you been a busy one but luckily eager at playing in the evening so good for us here in the uk just after work can relax for a for a minute and then crack on with the tennis and here's eager serving 30 15 goes down the center it just long um it, for me it could have clipped it Apparently not. We're not going to see a replay. Max saying, let's see if this match will go over an hour. Well, we'll wait and see. If Eager doesn't drop any games, then highly doubt it. Backhand. Good depth from Eager on the backhand. Loops it towards the baseline. Now some flatter ones. Martic has hung in the rally there, I'd call it. And... Just long from Eager with the backhand. Maybe slightly off balance when she hit that backhand there. And she'll need to just dial in the focus now. Just get this game over the line so we can have our traditional Eager 3 love to start this match. 
serving here. 30 all anyway. In, oh, clips the net cord, goes long. Second serve. Martic, if she's if she knows what she's doing, she needs to step in here and really attack with second serve. Eager's gonna have to put something on this. A little bit of kick, maybe. Not a lot on it, and it's a great, oh my word, a brilliant backhand winner from Petra Martic down the line. And Eager, well, suffering because of that non-existent second serve, really. Didn't really put anything behind it. Now it is breakpoint Martic, the lady with no button. Serving here. Martic, that'll give her so much confidence. Hitting a winner against Eager from anybody, but to create break point. And this, she stayed in this rally as well. And Eager's forcing her back towards the baseline. Good backhand. She's on the stretch again, is Martic, but it is long. That's the problem. You're having to always deal with being on the back foot. How we doing? How's it going, sir? Yeah, good point, that one. Yeah. Very good. I mean, what a week Martic is having, by the way. I know you touched it at the start, but really good, impressive. Very, very good. But eager, I feel, with who's left in the draw, she's, got, she's going to win it, man. It's only Sabah, isn't it? Sabah's the, the well, Sakali. She's in the semi final. Nah, yeah, exactly. So Sabah <laughs> will be in the final. That's that settled. It's not much of another semi the, That semi final, I feel, is just. Well, it's Saka in another semi. I think she's going to lose again. A terrible attempt of a drop shot from Martic. Bounces before it hits the net. And it is going I to think, be advantage. I think this is following Super. How are you doing, really? guys? Yeah, how are you going? Thanks, Manor, for the uh, for the Super Cheers, chat. Manor. Not sure what currency that is, but appreciate it. Yeah. Um, saying, let's give Petra Martic a song. Um, well... We'll give her a sing song if she manages to uh, get a game in here. That's for sure. I'm surprised we don't have a Martic button. She's a player I feel surprising we've never covered her. Not really. I don't think we have. I th if I we like have, she's not then... done very well in slams since we started. But I remember the year before we did the podcast, Wimbledon, she had a good run. I think this is oh, just typical. She's on the stretch in. Yeah, just, I mean, just, it just doesn't move well really... enough, Martic. just doesn't... seems a bit static. I mean, I've watched a lot of tennis recently... She's not someone who seems to be able to move around the court. and She's getting bullied right now, though. I don't think she's that old, is she? No, I don't think so. But she looks it. And I mean that in a nice <laughs> way. I mean, looks it physically. Like, I'm talking about uh, watching 32. her tennis. So, she's a lot older than her Eager. Her movement a lot, is pretty poor. I feel this follows the narrative static, a bit of like GTL, Del Potro though. towards the end. This is my classic thing that I do to players. Uh, I had Martic, didn't have her in the final of the last event in my bracket, and she did terribly. So, obviously, she would do great in the next event uh, when I don't pick her. And that's just the way it goes, unfortunately, in my brackets. I gave her the incentive. Yeah, she doesn't look old looking at her, no. but she just moves like she's not very mobile at all. So and and Eager's going to just <laughs> attack her. Me, me, me and you playing. <laughs> a little bit. I feel just Eager's got a little bit more pop in her step. Oh, no. Hang on. I've got a call coming in. Give me, like, two ticks. No worries. Not going to miss much. Someone you know. Because it is. Oh, I know who that is now. Just dawned on me. Yeah, you're not going to miss much because it is the changeover. Eager in control. Free love up. Could we be looking at a bagel or a breadstick? We've not seen one for some time. In fact, I can't even remember the last time we saw a baked good with an eager match. Seems like it's been a while. Um, but we could get one here today. I really do believe that because Martic has had a great event, but she's not moving very well. And I think against someone like an eager who hits big, you need movement. You need to be mobile. You need to be able to get to these balls, which because he hits the lines. Let's be honest. She hits it hard as well. And, um, yeah, let's see how she deals with this. So, Martic, she is going to be serving now. She just moved away from the service line, something distracting her maybe in the crowd, setting herself and getting ready to serve. Nice camera angle from above. And she struggles with the ball toss. So, it's a bit unsettling at the moment. 
There we go. The serve's in. She goes out wide. Good serve. That really good serve. Strong. And I think this is where we're going to get maybe a little bit more joy from Martic on her service games because her serve is pretty good. And I feel on these courts of Madrid with the altitude may help, may help her out a little bit. Here we go. Second serve. Oh, struggling with the ball toss again. Second time she's done that now. And it's a double fall. Oh, my word. I don't know what's going on. She just seems very unsettled. Was she adjusting her shoe? Something, something's unsettling her big time. I don't know what it is, whether it's something in the crowd, physically. Uh, but that's a strange double fall. I mean, it missed by some distance. And there we go, 15 all. Serves in. Good return from Iga. And Martic gets a racket. And uh, I don't know. I'm looking at her. Her body language is just shocking at the moment. <laughs> she does not want to be there whatsoever. It's a really poor show from Martic in terms of body language. Hopefully she can improve this. She needs first serves. I mean, 16 minutes played. I wouldn't be surprised if she gets broken there. That was a good serve, but it was let. She's going to take her time here, get another ball, reset herself. Manor wants a button. Well, you did get sent a uh, super chat, so we will give you a button, Manor. Let us know what player you'd like. Misses the first serve. Second serve coming up. We're into the rally. Eager pushes her to the forehand side. She scampers to get there. Eager almost goes long, hits the line, goes the other way. Martic stands still. Just, she can't handle it. Just no movement whatsoever. I've, ne I've not seen a player recently be as static as Martic on court. She looks so awkward getting into the corners. And it, it makes you wonder. I don't know how she beat Kratikova. I really don't. I didn't watch that match, but it'll be interesting to know how she did because she doesn't seem to be moving very well at all. Whether this is just the eager effect, let's wait and see. That serve misses. It's going to be two break points here. And it goes long. We hear it. Yazda from Eager. And it is another break. She leads here for love. Easy. And it was quite a loud <laughs> Yazda there from Ego. So she's putting a lot into this at the moment. She's in the zone, and here's the button. Ego, Ego, Spionte, Yazda! The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up, bagel in. I'm Ego, when I'm on the job. I'm a pizza, I'm gonna beat ya. I'm Ego, I'm gonna beat ya. Now you can't handle my heat now. Yeah, Mano will try and get the Dennis Novak button in when Ben gets back. I believe that's for Max. I don't remember the Novak button. Do we even have a Dennis Novak button? Well, we'll have to wait and find out. Good shot there from Eager down the line. Just clips the line inside of it. And it's another clean winner. I think she's going to get bageled here. I really do. Oh, misses the first serve, hits the top of the net, cord goes long. Alcaraz demolished Hachanov not too long ago. Straight set, 6 4 7 5. Could have met ever beat Pagula in three sets. And Pagula actually bageled her in the second. Very strange match. And this one, I think we're going to be looking at another bagel, if I'm totally honest. Martic looks nowhere near it. Doesn't look interested. She's looking at the floor. Looks uh, slow, lethargic. It's just it's just amusing, really, that a player like Martic, who's a professional, who's been playing extremely well, she's just beaten uh, Siegman, Kalinskaya and Krachikova in the last match, but that being the biggest one, how can she be so out of it in the next match? <laughs> Baffling to me.
Second serve, eager. It's crazy to think she gave away a break point on the last game. Misses the ball toss. Just takes her time here with a second serve. And it's a double fault from Iga. Her first of the match. Martic with two, but Iga won't mind too much. She's come at a good time. Yeah, I agree. It would have been good to see the Karchikova one. That would have been this round, I believe. Um, She's rushing through it, and she? What's she doing? She left the oven on. What's going on? <laughs> no, not really. It's just Martic. She's terrible. <laughs> Misses I the did... first serve. Second serve coming up. I did I give it a while. Generous. I said two and two. I thought this was, but maybe that's too generous. I think love and love. I honestly don't think she might. I don't think she can get a game here today. The way she's moving is dreadful. It's another double fault. I mean, it's not really much of a match. Two double faults in a row from Eager. She's not being pushed and pressed at all. And uh, yeah, if you can add the Dennis Novak button, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Dennis Novak, what a button. I mean, not heard that button nearly ever. Um, what, a, what a selection that one is. It's for Max. And do we need to update the tippers? Yeah. What about Manor's one? Do we need to work out that how much Manor's. that was? Oh, that is, what did he said, Max? Yeah, four Max. Oh, four Max. Apologies. Here we go, into the rally. A slice from Martic. One of the very few bits of tennis we've oh. seen. It goes into the net, 40-30. Yeah, there we go, four Max. Ah, got it. And so if it's not much... available, we'll go Mughal also. But I think it is available, it is. so it we'll is. have that soon. What? What? How much do I need to put on the tippers? Not sure. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know, Mano. What currency are you sending? Anyway, serving for a five-love lead here. Oh, that looked close. That I think it was just long. I've never seen a player as slow as Martic in my life. I don't, I don't know how she beat Is it the reactions or is it just the pace? No, just movement. Like she'll get there and just look like she's beaten. It's often you see her, like, Eager's hitting winner's pass and she's standing still. She's oh, tried to long. go too big there, walking to the chair. Not interested. Doesn't want to be here. Doesn't want to play this match. I think she's happy she got as far as she did. And she's honestly given up. Uh, but let's hear Sad. a Dennis Novak one. Never gonna make him crack One thing that's just a fact We know he's coming back But still there's no back Still there's no back Still there's no back When you're down he's got your back But still there's no back Still there's no back Still there's no back No man he can attack But still there's no back There it is, the Dennis <laughs> Novak button. It's been a while since I've heard it. Yeah, quite like it. <laughs> I forgot what it sounded like, to be honest. It's actually a full-on tune. <laughs> so it is Nis. So it's 15 Nis. Is that Bitcoin or something? Or... Nis. I can tell you what it is. So actually, it's, insurance. In total, it's Israeli. So in total, it's actually only $4. So 412 for all Ooh. of it. All right, don't worry. Sadly, um, man, it's actually going to be dropping down to third. <laughs> oh, really? Well, no. The total, overall, it's 15. No, but Manor's already on there. That's what I'm saying. So in total, 15. 15? I think it's four. <laughs> in total, it's $15 of a re Israeli, which equates ah. to 412. So add it to the five that's already there. No, and it'll it, be... There wasn't five before. There is. It's on there. Jane no, but and that Manor. That wasn't actually five. That was a five. Oh, that was been on there before this stream started. It's not been 15 this stream. No, that's the only one that's come on. That was all... our top tippers hasn't been updated. I know, but this she... Manor's including that five. What? So I'm getting confused. So Man... much. Look, I donated a total of $15. So 15 this. That's the total. <laughs> this whole, this last month, whatever it's been, that's the total. And it's only $4. Yeah. So you're, yeah, oh, two days got ago. it now. Apologies. So yeah, unfortunately. That's so difficult for you to work out. 
I didn't. I couldn't work it because he was calling it dollars. It was Nis. Well, I don't know why you put five dollars up there to begin with. That was wrong. I was told by Covey. Yeah, but it's not right. Well, man, are you dropping down? <laughs> <laughs> crazy. <laughs> There we go. We all sorted it out now, Mano. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Very kind of you. If anybody else wants a chance to, to move down, overtake, overtake Mano, <laughs> send us some this. <laughs> oh, Martic misses again. It's just, I've never been so sore of a double bagel in my life. She could even retire after this one. Oh, can't believe Pagula bageled in between two, like, four sets. She lost 6 4. Love 664. Pretty mad. Didn't understand it. Martich. Looks like it's going to be a double fault here. <laughs> Jeans in. Oh, Jean. Jean. Probably ecstatic that Djokovic is going to be uh, playing in the US. Oh, look at that. Into the net. Another poor one. And it could be. How many points has she even won in this first set? I mean, it's abysmal. Yes. Honestly, terrible. Let's have a look at the stats to see what the. I think points... we got it wrong with Mano. It's more than that. Wow. Oh. So Mano's now. Let me have. I can actually look back because it's quite easy oh. to do. So it's 15, 15. Oh, so it is $15 in total then. So, so it's... six and six. So. So 30. It's 42 in total. So, so that's 15 dots. Is eleven fifty five. So is going up to number two. Cheers for that, Manuel. We have got there in the end. Max wants a, a game in the second set. I don't know. This has been one of the worst sets of tennis I've ever watched. <laughs> she goes along. It's, just, it's no point. I mean, it might as well watch something else. This is terrible. She doesn't want to play. Doesn't want to be there. Gives up on everything. Eager takes it with a bagel. <laughs> you get the bagel button. Come on. There we go. We got a bagel. We got a bagel. We got a bagel. We got a bagel. And Igor takes a toilet break. Really? 27 minutes in after literally moving from the service line to about a centimetre inside the court every point and hitting about 20 balls if she's lucky, needs a toilet break. I mean, I don't know what's going on. It must be in her head. It must be something she does after every set. Um, but in terms of athleticism and a sport and a real challenge this is nothing of the sort this is pathetic tennis awful to watch I'd hate to be inside the arena there's no and one there Martic is a complete disgrace for this performance I'm glad she doesn't have a button not Sorry. earning one yeah total points won eight for Martic in that first set 25 you say eight, eight but two of them were double faults and um some of the True. others were just eager. Just one winner. I don't think, yeah, one winner. And it was like, it, it felt like that. It felt like she really honestly won one point. Well, service points won. One out of 13. I mean, that's awful. What, She's she won, won one service point? One service point. Yeah. That's terrible. Well, it's not, it's not even about that. It's just more the, the way it, you can just see it. Forget the scoreline here. Just her body language, the movement, everything just looks so terrible. Why is she not going for a toilet break? She thinks she needs one. No, because I, th I don't think she cares. That's that's the point. I prefer if she went out and gave a toilet, toilet break. She's standing there because she doesn't care, Ben. She's there just standing there with not care in the world. I don't know what she's saying with her coach now. <laughs> What's he going to say? I'd sack him on the spot. I mean, this is abysmal. Maybe sacking her. <laughs> What's going on? What do you reckon on the outfit for Martic? you like that? It's better than a tennis. It's not a bad 
little number. Just practicing a few shots there. They look like winners. What do you think? It'd be good if she can get it over the net. I just hope things improve, man. No, Cheers for the gift, man. I appreciate that. Gifting the membership. I don't know who got it. Was it KC? Oh, sure. Might have been KC. Seems KC, like yeah, there you go. The Ons Japan. <laughs> Emotes coming out. Lovely. Now here comes Eager running on court like a fresh, fit, young, world number one that she is. Looking like she's got the desire to just go on and get another bagel. Blow of the nose. The uh, It's becoming the regular <laughs> Eager thing, the box of tissues. I don't understand how she had to go off for 20 minutes of tennis where she's not... Does she really Maybe need she, the toilet? Maybe she came on needing the toilet and then she no, thought, man, I'll get this... I think it's psychological. She just does it to help her in her matches, I guess. All right, well. Six love first set, second set. Kicking off now. Is it going to be another one? Let's get some second set score predictions in the live chat. Do you think there's going to be another bagel here? Or do you think that there's going to be slightly closer second set? Well, I'm going to go bagel, mate, because I don't see anything any other way. Good rallying to start. Misses the drop shot. Poor drop shot. Worst attempt of one. She did a worse one in the first set. It bounced before it hit the net. That one at least made the net. Um, but just wasn't willing to rally there. Just didn't want to fight for the point. There's a lack of fight. There's a lot of... Ha it's just very disheartening because as a tennis player, I think the basis of your game should be fight and desire to the final ball. You're a professional tennis player. Just give it your all. I feel like it, this should be all People have paid money to be there. At least give your all to the final. All professional sports people should be doing that. That's why I sure, think. Sure, and, and, and I think from at the moment, that, I'm in doubt whether Martic is giving it her all. Doesn't seem to be. But the Chelsea players yeah, are sure. probably... Is this similar to Ben and Jess? At times, yes. But then Ben does get going in the third set. Yeah, normally I get going late, late in the match somehow. You start <laughs> fast, though, and maybe I get a bit demoralised and then I play into your hands. I, don't know you do. I, I think you just don't play very well at the start, though. That's because we don't have really... I don't probably warm up correctly, I don't think. I, I said if we had a set warm-up, then I'd probably be all right from the well, first set. warm-up is a bit excessive, isn't it? Well, well, first set's normally six love, so it's not that excessive. It's about 20 minutes. I don't mind next time we play if we just do like three games warm up and then start the set. I feel like the actual warm up, I'm, it doesn't actually warm me up. It warms you up and then I'm just cold for the first set. Maybe you need to hit it a bit harder in the warm up. No, because I feel like you just lull me into this full sense of security during the... And that's a pity cheer for Martic right now and I hate that. Well, they're just desperate, aren't they? They're just desperate to see something. Well, was it well, Matthew, I'm glad you're asking these questions because we are going to be doing a, a podcast very soon. And I, I mean that as well. In fact, yep. we might record it tonight and post it uh, another day this week. And that is going to be called the Countdown Series. Pod, a group of podcasts we're going to be doing leading up to Roland Garros. And we'll be doing one of them a week. So we'll be answering a lot of questions like this. Yeah, maybe we can take some questions as well that we can answer on there, which would be good. Yeah. yeah, if you've got any questions about Roland Garros, big ones, let us know all your questions in the live chat now because we may answer some of them in our podcast we'll be doing. We'll be filming it off air and posting it so it won't be live. Yeah, just so we can get it out on the same day every week so that we've got a consistent podcast that you can all tune into. You know it's going to be happening every or that same day every week. Oh, and there you go. One love. <laughs> I've got a few points there, but <laughs> not good enough. That's, That's seven exactly. games with no return. That's exactly Martic, what I thought. Head down. I thought it was going to be dominant is today. Is she even going to go to the chair? Or is she just going to be waiting at the, ba at the baseline to serve again? I just didn't see it going any other way today. I thought it was going to be dominant. And I thought... She's going to be good for a few points, but she has to actually get it over the line. 
and get games. And that's so difficult. I don't feel that she's got got it in the locker. You yeah, might nine be right. unforced errors in that first set. One winner. A first serve percent of 46%. Iga's, been, Iga's not even been good. She doesn't have no, to be. Doesn't and she's won be. seven games in a row. It's below par Iga you're playing right now. Who Somebody who you could potentially run It's a quarterfinal, Ben, of a Masters event. This is a Masters event. A quarterfinal of a Masters. I mean... She's, she's got beaten, a good serve as well. Why can't Klai she Chica. just find them? I just wish we had had Klai Chikova in this match. That would have it would have been so much more entertaining. We know that for a fact. She looks completely yeah. bemused. Out of completely depth. bemused. Out of depth. It's like she's just won a competition from the stands and said, "All right, here you go. Here's a racket. Here's a skirt. Put it on and go." <laughs> I think Ben in a dress would have done a better performance than this I would have run more down probably <laughs> not the sliding around on the back of the court might have been the same result though good serve from her out wide that's her second point off serve I mean that's just nuts in itself second point one on your yeah, that was side. right, Matthew. Double bagel into Pliskova in the final. And it's similar that day. Pliskova didn't seem interested at all. Didn't want to be no. there. The difference is... That was oh, there we go. Great it? shot. About time. We're seeing some kind of tennis and the crowd erupting cheer because that's all we want to see. Just a little bit of a little bit of effort, Petra. Come on. You know you can do it. Can she not do full tournaments these days? What, what's the deal? Well, that's better. Good inside out forehand from her. The serves Ooh. in again. She comes in for the volley. Not a bad volley, <laughs> but pass at the net. Eager did very well there to get there in good time. A little bit more attacking, a little bit more intent. I don't mind it. It's better. It's encouraging. Oh, you knew that passing shot was coming, though. Well, I guess so. But like a better volley, taking a little bit more of the pace off the ball. She would have been all right there. At least she's trying something. Got to Can't try. fault someone for trying. That's all goes. we want to see. Forty thirty now. She could have a game on the board before you know it. She's back in the match. What was your prediction for this set? Two. I'm gonna stick with one two at least. I went six two six two. Oh. Maybe it's gonna be a tie break, JG. Well, the baker is open. It's been a long time since we said that. Yeah, it has been. But when people play like this against her, she can't help but bagel them. Oh, playing a bit better now. Is she going to finish there it off? There you go. Where no. go? it. She gets a game and stops the rot. And everyone's <laughs> loving it. They're so happy <laughs> that she's been able just to stop the rot. Well, a pity when... cheer. Winning one game against Diga gets you a standing ovation these days. How crazy is that? Have you got the bakery meme ready? No. Should I? Yeah. I mean, it might mess up my computer. <laughs> I don't know whether to do it. To find a picture of Martich. Oh, that looked close. If she breaks now, surely. Just goes on and takes the set. Well, Pagula won a set today. Six love. She bageled um, Sarkari, was it? Kudometova. Kudometova. And then lost the other two. Yeah, I don't understand how she won a second set. It was in the middle as well. Kudometova. She lost the first set 6-4, then bageled her in the second, then lost 6-4. Yeah, there was a medical timeout at the beginning of the third from Kudamasova <laughs> to redo some taping on her leg. Mm. Mm -hmm. The only person who wins comfortably is Adkalaz these days. Well, it's sort of comfortable, but he, he likes to set himself a challenge in the second set these days, it seems. He's I mean, it was winning too easily. It's not that bad. Yeah, but he's winning too easily. So against Dimitrov, he went down a break. Against Hatchinov, went down a break. Just Gives them the break and then just still wins in straight sets. Bruce Avori won. He looked the most on that most yeah. on edge. He was down a, a set and a break. Yeah, exactly. Bruce Avori, like like you said, 
he's like another sinner. He's a good player. I think it's he might come good hard. for Ussuri. Powerful hitter. He's one player. I remember when we were doing all those interviews over COVID, we kept asking people about Russo. <laughs> yeah, we like him a lot. Yeah, he said he was one of the one players who hits much harder than other players. Yeah. You can see it as well. Especially when you get that low down camera angle, like mm -hmm. the challenger one. You can really see how hard and fast that. Uh, oh, mate, Russo I really like him. I think he's awesome. Eager 30 love anyway. Oh, terrible. Into the net. The crowd had a short little moment of applause for one Martic game. It could have been P6-1. I feel like it's just gone back to how it was a minute ago. If you're just joining anyway, hit the like button. Subscribe to Game to Love if you're new to the channel. Oh, something's gone in Eager's eye. She's had to default from the match, Martin. <laughs> through to the semi-final. Mate, there's a really good thread here, which I think you're going to love, Ben. I feel that's the only way that Eager loses right now. I've just sent you a thread on Twitter. Nice. You're going to love it. Let me have a little look. Lit boosted. It's not on your. T oh, I'll send it to your one as well. I can. It's quite cool. Did you send it? What you is missed this? a trick. That's what you should have done. What the AI stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. ace down the tee. It's a game to love for Eager. And I think that's calmed her down a little bit and uh, fended off Martic's resurgence. Yeah, as Max says, Rooster Roy is Sinner Light. <laughs> Sinner 2.9. What? It's the Schwartzman one just looks nothing like Schwartzman whatsoever. Where is that supposed to be? It's like some little, I don't know, some from Game, cool. Game of Thrones or something. I mean... I think it's really good. The likeness They've definitely of, improved. The, yeah, I mean, but the likeness of all of the people are just terrible. I don't know. I think they're a lot better than than the ones you were showing me. No, uh, yeah, but the actual ten, like you can get Djokovic and Nadal to look like it, but all the others look nothing. I don't know. Like look it. at the rude one and Alex Dimonor. I think the Alex Dimonor one's really good. Mm, what? Really? Yeah, I think the Dimonor one looks really good. <laughs> Even the Massetti <laughs> one's not bad. The Massetti one, I would say, yeah, it's like a little bit of a period piece or something. It's not so bad. It just works well. Well, if you want to cheer yourself up, we've got West Ham Man City on in about eight minutes' time. Well, that'd be good. Nil What's nil. Another six nil. Could be nil nil. First run of the season. Great. I'll lose my bet. Well, I did. What's the... Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> all I need. <laughs> that would be typical, wouldn't it? It's going to go down to. I reckon the last game of the season is going to be nil nil. Ah. Oh, I've already worked it out. Because it's West Ham Leicester, and they probably both need a point to stay up. So they'll just think, oh, we'll agree to do a nil nil. Well, not a one one. Do it for the fans. Hopefully. Final day of the season. You've got to have a goal. I hope so. Oh, West Ham double cross them and just score in the last minute. Oh, Martic. Oh, just so annoying. Same thing again. She's refusing to serve because. Why are them idiots doing that, walking around? I don't know. Do, probably they just thought, that's all that Martich is doing. <laughs> Maybe we can do it in the stands as well. Stuff. 15 love. Wow, she's turned the corner now. I've got a really good idea. Why don't you do, in, in AI, try and have like an eager ba bagel? I, mean, I could try it. I don't have the access anymore. The trouble is, like, Eager doesn't get made very well at all. I tried many times. I tried lots of players, and the yeah, only ones they're getting get, better. The only no, nah, the only ones you get made properly are like Nadal and Djokovic. Well, Dimonor looks good. Really? 
I like I'm it. I'm a bit of a perfectionist with those things. It doesn't like have it to be exactly cool. like them, but just get you get the oh, hint. I want it. I want it to be. No, you're missing the trick. No. Oh, ace out wide. Not sure. I think it was in. Let's have a look. Yeah, the eager ones are terrible. I've tried the eagers ones. They're just nothing. There's just wide. Oh, it is wide. Good challenge then from Eager. Yeah. It's not going to be an ace. Second serve instead. Maybe I'll do it for the semi finalists, mate. When we get all the semi finalists, I'll do some AIs for you. This doesn't look good. She's not won a second serve today. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Playing a bit better, yeah. I looked out. <laughs> oh. I looked out. What's going on? Eager, going a bit long there. Miles, it's getting set up. Definitely a lot better this second set. Just goes to show. Why don't you put this effort in in the first? She sort of threw the set. Maybe she just knew that it was never going to be her set, that one. Just for get out of the way. Yeah, like I you said, the six, six love, the most dangerous score line in tennis, isn't it? Is that still the case? So I was watching John Silk. He's got a comp press conference with Alcaraz out. That's <laughs> 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 It's not out yet. I don't, I think. don't think it's actually it, though. It's just it audio. They're all Silk. just audio things that he's recording. Yeah, but it's from. just audio one. Oh, okay. So it's like radio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talking tennis radio. <laughs> well, we just yeah, I was talking tennis, so he's right. It's true. Oh, two oh, two. Another game and another applause. A coach is loving it, a boyfriend's push. happy. Push, push was what they said. Two alls. Break now. Why why do it now? Wait till the end. I think she should wait to four all, then break. Good idea. Coach JG steps in. My dad just messaged me saying he's standing at my house. What's going on there? Did you know about that? I didn't know about that. Can I come over? No. Oh, cool. We have a party. <laughs> <laughs> we all sleep on the sofa and watch Sita Pass Djokovic. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now we're talking. That'd be fun. Can we get some horrible crisps and just leave them on the floor? Yeah. And we'll open the blinds as well. Oh, good idea. Just take them all down. <laughs> I don't need them. <laughs> Who needs oh, blinds? she gets into the net and complains oh, wow. to her box as if to say, why did you let me do that? It's your fault. Yeah, it is. It is. Gene says, it's too late for a comeback. It's never too late, Gene. If Rafa can do it, Martic can too. Sean saying, I hope West Ham do Arsenal a favour. <laughs> They won't, no. I'm afraid. I think West Ham literally Moyes is resting the team anyway for just Europe. For, Declan for Rice the... isn't even in the squad. Well, that's just got that's something bad's going to happen. <laughs> no, but Man City are resting of their players as well. Well, they don't need all their players. That's the problem. They're playing a second keeper. Yeah, but they can. The second team probably wins the league as well. Yeah, I think West Ham are going to get battered, but. They're pretty as long as they got De Bruyne in there, they're fine. No, he's not in there. He's not, not oh. in the squad. Oh, West Ham win 4 0. He wasn't in the last squad either. And they just wasn't won. He? Yeah, don't need him really. Oh, it's long for Martic. Trenta Quinza. I look at a box they've all got the same hats yep beyond cat yeah they all like wear it? it yeah i don't mind it i like it i've showed everyone your hat yep here it is if you can't see it put it closer so everyone can see it so can anyone read around. what that says is that the wrong way around or the right way around no it's the wrong way around yeah i don't know why it's doing that Maybe you put I'll... your camera the wrong way around. 
Yeah, but if I go the wrong way around, because I'm using my phone as the camera, so maybe if I press the button. No, you go. can invert. Here there we go. go. I'll do it on the camera. Oh, where is it? There we go. It says Ben, for those who can't read. Bit sad. That's just if Ben forgets his name, he just looks in the mirror and says, oh, that's it, Ben. That's not. It's because if I go out and I get lost, then people would direct me. Yeah, he's got his address on it's, the back. <laughs> so he's got his the... name. It's like a dog tag. With a name, got my and a, name, name and address. Name and address sewed into every item of clothing. So when they see Ben wandering around, they're like, oh, that's where he needs to go. Have you got my one there? Apparently there's a JG one, but I've never seen it. Yeah, I've got it, yeah. What does everyone think about my JG one? Don't oh, put it on your that... sweaty head. Yeah, I need a shower as well. Oh, I'm not wearing that now. Let me put it closer so we can see it. There it is, JG. Look at that, JG cat. Be coming out soon. I'll wear that next stream. Nice. Eager, serving here for a three-two. Martin, oh, good forehand, no, enough power again. Good volley Come though. The volley, and it's a nice volley. 40-30. Okay, Gene likes it. it. I've got the Gene's approval. That's the main thing. Oh. Best of luck for your songs for your music band, Sunday. Oh. What songs are you doing? Are you singing, Gene? Are you playing an instrument? I think he's singing. Casey's asking, do you do covers or originals? Yeah, good point. Do you do covers or originals? It's just covers of the buttons. <laughs> just the Djokovic button. <laughs> the whole band <laughs> plays that. <laughs> oh my word, she does hit it not very hard. <laughs> what, a, mate, that no. is some ridiculous ball striking from Eager. And it is free too. She's done well there. What's that you sent me? Well, I just typed in. Yeah, that looks really good. Do you think that looks like him? Yeah, really good. That's what I'm saying. We don't need to be perfect. The whole point is it looks a bit sketchy. That's what makes it more fun. Which one do you think looks best? Well, like him. Yeah. The top. What? Which one? Left Either or right? Or. Either or. Oh, really? Okay. I like the top right. I feel, I feel it's always weird that they add in like, the logos of the brands because when I even when I do Djokovic they may put him in Adidas <laughs> it's really weird I don't know the why the crazy they... thing is the bottom right one he's got Adidas on both <laughs> sides which is not right <laughs> he's like over branded on that one yeah that it just doesn't work he's got it on his head he's got it on both sides But yeah, you can have that. You can. What do you make of this as well? Carlos Alcalaz in the Hachanov match, arranging his bottles like Rafa does. Oh no, I've seen it already. What do you make of it? I don't know. I feel like he needs to get his own stick. Stop stealing Rafa's. I do it as well. You don't even have water when we play. It just plays without water. <laughs> I do. Shares mine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's where, it's, where I'm to be going. Fair, I've not needed it recently when I've been playing. It's getting too I mean, fit. it's not really hot. If it's hot, I'll need mm. it. Yeah, I guess. If I'm sweating, I've not really sweat too much last time. Last few times I've been playing. Need to get the sun out. Not get long enough to... rallies. I need to get back to Zagreb. <laughs> <laughs> there were some longer rallies in Zagreb. I feel. I feel like this quality just they didn't have my own racket. I feel like it was better. Yeah, it's good tennis in Portugal. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm a lot better, more, a lot more fun. Except for one day. <laughs> it was still fun. It was still fun, but it was just <laughs> when you just can't I just forget how to hit the ball when I'm in that. Oh, I just had no movement. If you have no shape, no movement, no positioning, no technique, then everything's just not gonna go your way, is it? Yeah, you end up like Martic in the first set. <laughs> but four times in a row. 
How many likes we got on the video? Are we up to 100 yet? That's all we want to know. If you haven't hit that like button yet, come on. Smash the like button and subscribe. Give me another player. I want to type one in. What are you going to do I mean, with it, though? I don't know. I just want to see if it makes something cool. Maybe Carlos Alcaraz. Alcaraz is a good one. It doesn't really make... It just makes just random Spanish people when you type his name in. Such a common name. Yeah, that's the problem. Doing what, though? Like gardening or... No, winning a tennis match. Winning Roland Garros, I'll type in. Yeah. See what it comes up with. Imagine it does a picture and then we save it and then it's oh, we nice get the, actual, combination. the actual picture comes up and it matches that. And, it's, and he does that exact celebration when he wins. We predict That'd the future. Not... We're probably not far off. I'll send it to you when it's done. <laughs> I mean, I don't know who it's creating. It's just some random guy. Well, he's doing a bit of a Rafa pose, I think. That's not right. I think they've stolen Rafa's knee thing. Right, Martic serving here, 30 15. Good second serve, that. A lot of pop on it but now she's on the back foot as always and it's long 30 yeah. all opportunity for eager to break here <laughs> did you have eager winning this one madrid this no i had Saba. who did i have not sure Which one, which one of those ones I've sent you? I mean, the first one <laughs> looks like it's from the 1970s or something. <laughs> yeah, none of them look like him. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's no good. That's what I mean. Alkalize is a tough one. To It doesn't do it right. Maybe the closest is probably the bottom right. No, bottom left, sorry. Yeah. Kind of. There we go. Break point time. Serves in. Eager it's returns long. it. It's wayward from Martic. She gets the break. Terrible. It's 4 2. Yeah. It's already been longer this second set. 30 minutes compared to 27. But she gets the break again and leads 4 2. And I think she might win 6-2. Then you might be right. You really can't handle the heat. She can't handle anything right now. She's got two games. Is that good enough? Probably not. Serving now, eager 4 2, and it is 15 love. Making light work of Martic here. I mean, it doesn't get much more simple for a quarter final of a Masters event, no. I don't think. Straight forward. <laughs> Two good service games from her, and that's about it. What do you make of serve? It's just not been good enough. Maybe I'll save that question for the countdown. Yeah, good drop shot from her. Not gonna, not gonna start dropping in questions that we might be covering on there. Exactly. Got good I don't have ones. Much, I don't have much knowledge, so I know Better it's not trivia. That. <laughs> oh, it's not. Not a quiz question. No, no. It's just it's just like one of a general topic for the thing, but more about the men's side. Okay. Yeah, that draw preview is gonna be fire. 
Good serve from Eager. Back in play, and it's mid court, so means Eager takes over the rally. She pushed her back. I did all right yeah. there. 15 30. Bit of a shaky backhand from Eager. 15 30. Well, she's got 15 30. West Ham 0 0. Doing wow. Well, 10 minutes in. Smashing it. It's a tough one because. Do I want to win? Not really. <laughs> Not on Arsenal winning the league. One nil loss. Do I want to get like... relegated? No. Yeah, it's a lot. Ooh, of... Do we need to win? We might not get relegated anyway. So mixed emotion. Let's <laughs> match. <laughs> I just can't have Arsenal winning the league. I'm not going to win the league. I might do. No, I think City are going to throw it away from this position. Could do, mate. Arsenal are top at the moment. Two points Maybe clear. their matches they've got left. Not that difficult. Worse than cities. No matches are easy at the end of the season. Sure. Uh, to you all, Lindsay Sam, what a disappointing match. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. What can you do? Eager too good. Martic, not good enough. Gene said, I hope you do a better draw preview for Rome. Last one was <laughs> so good. <laughs> How dare you, Gene? Do you not enjoy that draw preview? Uh, no, apologies. It was a really bad one. I tried my best. It was um, three in the morning where we were. It wasn't the fact that it was just three in the morning, though. It was a case of there wasn't much sleep in the, about four days prior. I think a bit of both. And there was drinking involved. It was all a bit... Masters won a blur well. that day. Masters won the long ones, aren't they? Yeah. What's the problem? Two Masters ones <laughs> back to back. <laughs> yeah, we had to plow through those, sadly. We should have just got to the stage of the quarterfinals and then done it. Yeah, but Gene made them the full shebang. No, people don't want that. Gene wants it. Don't you, Jean? No, they don't. Oh, Huego. She's done it. 5 2. Yeah, I did. you are right. It was the TNNS draw thing, did mess it up because I couldn't make any stuff. I've messaged them about it. They're trying, they are fixing it. Yeah, because it would be great if we can get that fixed. Yeah, I couldn't pick any of the players. You can never remember. pick Algoruna, can you? It was just the perfect storm of crap. <laughs> us being late us being tired and a bit inebriated and then the draw actually not working on the website just that will definitely that will be the worst ever one we do yeah for sure next time I'll flick over to just something else or I'll try and get my phone on the screen or something just do something different that will just be the worst one it will never be as bad as that yeah, I mean, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't manufacture a different draw preview on that occasion. <laughs> there was just no way. Yeah, it's what it was. We've got up to hundred likes. Not quite. If you haven't already, guys, hit the like button on the video. Let's get up to a hundred and subscribe if you're new. Madrid Masters quarter final time. Eager one game away from straight sets and a place against. Was it Kudometeva? Correct. Can she trouble her? I think Kudometeva will put up a bit bigger fight than Martic does. Yeah, definitely. So it'll be 6 2, 6 1 or something. Yeah. Nah, it might be different. Gracias. Por favor. Martic, look at her. She gets so angry. I was going to walk away now because people are making a noise. Play your tennis. Try and actually focus on playing some good tennis instead of worrying about the crowd. They're making a singular noise. It's not impacting your tennis. It's really affected her since the start. <laughs> it's going to blame her. that <laughs> if she loses. Not when she loses. Not no, we appreciate loses. it, Gene. You're right to call us out on it. It was poor. I take responsibility for that. Um, Sean, we will be discussing this in 
the countdown podcast coming very soon exactly right if you want to catch part three of our vlog series as well that will be out later on on patreon only so sign up to our patreon and you'll get to see me and jg having a whale of a time as a challenger in portugal and doing some other excursions as well uh not just tennis some other entertaining stuff going on over there in portugal feel free to pop the link in the <laughs> live chat whenever you want if you've got it to hand i don't have it sad times Quite it. The bakery be opening with the booty booty boop a doo. Gotta find a Martich head now. Wiggle. Oh, that was easy. Big hold from her. Game to love. Here we got Gary in. How are we doing, Gary? But Gary. Never. I love the WTA, but eager matches are so mundane. I mean, you've not missed much. It's been pretty poor this match. I've not enjoyed it at all, Gary. Martic yes. just not wanted to be there and just played terrible tennis. Awful. She got three games, but I don't know how. She's yeah, turned been... it on a little bit, but just been very uninist- a very uninist- uninterested performance from her. Yeah. Put on a report card, must try harder. It's funny, she's actually playing her best tennis towards the end of the second set, but that's uh, a great win off. We've seen it down before, though, haven't we? Suddenly become a normal tennis player when there's no pressure on. Yeah, Gene makes a good point. Alex and Jorva come back from 5 2 the other night. I just don't see that happening here today, but it's definitely better signs as it's gone on. And Eager's going to have to throw this away. I don't think Martic is going to. Be the one winning it. Come on, as Max says, hit the like button. We've got quite a few people in and subscribe to Game to Love if you're new. Yeah, exactly, Lindsay. I know what you mean. Stay home and let someone else play. If you're not going to turn up, what's the point? I agree with you completely. I'll always be a voice to call people out who don't do it, and certainly Petra has done that today. She has indeed, sadly. You let yourself down. That's the main it's thing. Thank from her there. Goes long. Big shank from her there. Sorry, that. <laughs> the lamb shanks out. <laughs> Gotta love it. Simon, do you think 10 years eager can be renowned as the best clay court player ever? Yeah, possibly. I reckon 15 years. She wins yeah, 10, possible. 10 Roland Garros's. That's not enough. That's what I'm saying. I think you need 15 years. Fair enough. Hard man to play. <laughs> Great winner from her there. Look. Turning it on when it matters. Got out my Born of Chorich on. Um, in about yeah. half an hour. How'd you see that one going? The lucky loser through again, or I don't know. Difficult one. Out my suppressed me, man. Beat Hampman and Munar and Otto. Not the worst draw to get through to a Masters quarterfinal. I, don't know, I think Hampman's pretty good. Torich has beaten even better, to be honest. Gassed on her catch for Kina. You've got to save Chorich's favourite. Most definitely. Anyway, two match points coming up. Here we go. Match point. Just over an hour. One hour nine. Oh, she almost catches the line with an ace to win the match. It's going to be a second serve on match point. She's taking her time on the second serve to get this match wrapped up. 
serves in. Martic just goes long, gives up on the point. Poor display. Uh, didn't enjoy the match at all, but Iga <laughs> is victorious and won. Six love, six three. Well done to anyone who predicted it at home. Martic is going to be straight down the tunnel. That was an embarrassing display. It's, it's annoyed me, really, that match. But congratulations, Iga. She can only beat who's put in front of her and another really professional performance from her. Iga. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel in. I'm eager, I'm gonna eat ya. I'm gonna eat ya. I'm gonna eat ya. I'm eager, I'm gonna eat ya. Now you can handle my heat now. Yeah, well, that sums that up. We've got world check-ins. And how do you see Iga Kudometova? I think he'll be close. I think Kudometova is a good player. Hopefully she turns up and plays better than Petra Martic did today. Yeah. Um, but I think Iga's going to win. I think she'll win the whole thing. I think she's stronger than everyone else. Let's see how Saber gets on. It'd be good if I, I, I want to see the Saber Iga final, uh, but I fear it's going to be a bit like the last one in Stuttgart. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Uh, if Saba can reduce the errors and start just hitting big winners constantly, then she definitely stands a chance. But I think Iga's not even being tested at the moment. I mean, she's not even playing great and she's not being tested. What are you supposed to say? It's hard to know what level she's playing at. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, let's wrap it up there. Thank you, everyone, for joining. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. We'll be doing a countdown style podcast to Ronald Garros very soon and that's going to be a weekly episode we will be doing in the lead up to Ronald Garros and it's going to be quite structured it's going to be a good podcast which you've never seen Ooh. from us before because it's going to be quite professionally done for a change what? so no way. hopefully um I've not I'm not going to let you down by saying that <laughs> you'll be like oh, this is trash what are you talking about but I think it's going to be good join us for it and we'll catch you on the next one Will do. Now, see you later. I think we're doing some semi-final previews later as well, right, Ben? That's correct, yeah. Okay, see you guys later on this evening then. Bye-bye.